We are not making popular decisions. And Kenya is going to go forward. But whatever the circumstance, I'm always here to inform you, to give you the factual details. So I want you to sit back, free yourself, relax your mind. The wiper party leader, Kalonzo Usioka, is done. Completely done with Raila Amolo Odinga, politically speaking. And since the Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance collapsed, Kalonzo Musioka is not ready again. He is not willing at all to follow Raila Amolo Odinga. I mean, when last did you see Kalonzo and Raila Odinga in any political event? Martha Karua the same way. Since Azimio collapsed, these top Azimio leaders decided to part ways. And they are currently reading from different political scripts, which clearly reflects how 2027 general elections will be. William Ruto will easily win because of the divisions among these top Azimio leaders. I expected that because of Raila Odinga's official exit from the local politics ahead of his African Union Commission top job, someone like Kalonzo Musioka will officially take over the opposition leadership from Raila Odinga. But Kalonzo Musioka is so inconsistent in politics. Martha Karua is so inconsistent in politics. In 2027 general elections, William Ruto will not have any political competitor because these two leaders, Kalonzo and Martha Karua, are not really, really strong to face William Ruto. So William Ruto's political cards are in the right track. But I really feel sorry for Kalonzo Musioka. I really feel sorry for him. Because Kalonzo is a man who wasted his 15 years. I mean 15 good years in Kalonzo Musioka's politics that he will never ever recover. While supporting, endorsing, campaigning, for Raila Odinga. Raila who has been losing elections. Each and every elections. But it is so unfortunate that Kalonzo Musioka never learned from his political mistakes. And to make the matter worse is that the same same Raila Amolo Odinga currently has refused. Raila is not willing to support, to endorse Kalonzo Musioka in the 2027 general elections as promised. I'm saying this because of Raila Odinga's real brother, Dr. Oburu Odinga's message to Kalonzo Musioka face to face. Raila is not expired. Raila is still strong. If Oburu, his brother, is this strong, then how about Raila, just a child who was born yesterday? Others, people who are with us in leadership, particularly in our own coalition, you should not pressurize Raila to tell you that you are the one who is going to take over. No! So just come out and compete. Then Raila also be in the ballot. Let us be democratic. I believe that Oburu Odinga delivered Raila Odinga's message to Kalonzo that he should not expect Raila Odinga's endorsement in 2027 automatically. The politics of deceit, the politics of conmanship and betrayal. Because I think that 
what Raila Odinga should do just to appreciate the Ukambani region just to appreciate Kalonzo Musyoka for being loyal to him for standing with Raila Odinga despite losing six times in elections Raila should just stand up and say Kalonzo Tosha 2027 such that if Kalonzo will lose it will be upon him because very many people very many Raila Odinga supporters are ready very ready to support Kalonzo but they are just waiting a directive from Raila Odinga even the Luos in Nyanza they are willing to support Kalonzo Musyoka but Raila Odinga should just say so because whatever Raila Odinga says it will be an advantage to Kalonzo Musyoka because i have seen Kalonzo Musyoka's political moves Kalonzo really want to be in the ballot to contest against president William Ruto in 2027 knowing very well that he will lose but again look here guys Kalonzo Musyoka has been so inactive in politics in the recent few months because Kalonzo Musyoka is busy strategizing ahead of 2027 so let me explain to you the dangerous secret political game plan of Kalonzo Musyoka ahead of the 2027 general elections that will clearly shock Raila Odinga completely number one, what if Raila Odinga loses the African Union Commission top job and decides to be in the ballot again in 2027 do you think that Kalonzo Musyoka will support Raila Odinga i don't think Kalonzo Musyoka is willing to do that mistake again so he will be in the ballot number 2 kalonzo musyoka working with william ruto in 2027 is it possible of course yes it is very much possible for kalonzo and william ruto to work together kalonzo to support and to endorse william ruto you know why because the truth of the matter here is that kalonzo musyoka lacks money the politics of kenya are very very expensive and that is why kalonzo musyoka is so inconsistent in politics ahead of 2027 where will kalonzo musyoka get money to launch his presidential bid to campaign across every region across every part of the country so for kalonzo musyoka to be on the safe side and to prepare himself ahead of 2032 like musali amudabadi is doing kalonzo should just support william ruto in 2027 and number 3 kalonzo musyoka going to the ballot directly despite knowing very well that he will lose to william ruto you know why because kalonzo musyoka even if he will lose he will take the opposition leadership so let us wait and see how things will turn out to be i do not think i would want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below please don't forget to subscribe to this channel my name is jason bye bye and have a good day ahead thank you